look at here. Mm, boy, look at here. Yes, 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 yes. Thirsty, thirsty. Whew. Should I say hot, thirsty, thirsty? It's so hot out there. Whew. Better get it right, y'all. We don't want. We don't want to. Be, we don't want to go no place where it's hotter than this. That's all I'm gonna say about that. It's hot. Oh, what are y'all doing? What's going on? Anybody working the weekend? Probably so. I had them four days off. Most people working. Sorry, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. As I wait for a few more viewers to join me. Hello for the ones who have. Hola. Hola. Yes, I am loving this wig, y'all. I think it's my favorite one. It's just so funky. I just like it, I feel like. Sister Soldier. What's that lady off Shaft? I can't think of her name. I feel like her. Yes, so while I wait for some more people to join, I will talk about some stuff that I've been downloading for the past few days. Um. So like when I'm at work, I listen to a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of motivational stuff, right? And so a couple, you know, I'm always jotting down notes in my handy dandy notebook. So some stuff I have written down um, that I took from what I've heard. A lot of us are good at letting, at letting things go, but we don't want to take them off. I don't know if you understand what that means. Um, basically, we let it go, but we still hold on to it. You know, trying to get back, trying to be revengeful and stuff like that. They don't do nobody no good. Not you, not nobody. Loving myself is just, is just, is just as important as loving someone else. Yes, because if you don't love yourself, then like, what are you doing? How you gonna know how to love somebody else? It all starts with you. What else I have? It's okay to press the reset button. You know, sometimes we feel like we can't start over. We're going through stuff or something happened. It's okay. I don't care how many times you gotta you gotta press that reset button. It's okay. Feel me. Um, let's see. And it's your job to fill your own your own tank. A lot of times we look for stuff in other people. And then when they leave, we're left empty. So you gotta have that stuff in you. You gotta be working on you. So if somebody decides to leave or come, you're already full, full, you know, filled, whatever, whatever the case may be. You already got that. So you don't want to look for that in nobody else. Cause if you're looking for that, as soon as they leave, you out here looking like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? So if you already got that, if you already got that in here, you working on that, they can leave, stay, whatever. You fine, you gonna be good regardless. Remember that. I used to say yes, all the time because I love being loved. You train people how to treat you by, by what you allow, basically. You gotta set boundaries. Because if you just say yes all the time, and you're that yes person, you're that person that they can go to, then, you know, it just kind of leaves you out there. So, like I said, you can't say yes all the time. You gotta love yourself. You can't be looking for love in nobody else. You can't be like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Just, just so them, that person can love you, make you feel better. You gotta feel better about you. You can't look for that in somebody else. Let's see. Men plan physical development, but but not their spiritual development. You know, I know y'all see these guys, they always talk about working out, working out, working out. But like, what, what are you doing spiritually, emotionally? When do we see your physical. But what, are, what, are, what else are you working on? You have to work on all areas. A lot of times we just focus on one area while the other areas just deteriorate, basically. Got to work on all areas. Um, limits exist where you place them. A lot of times we, I feel like we place limits on ourselves by, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. And a lot of times that fear that, that, you know, sets in, your mind is designed to keep you safe, right? So you're going to be like, I can't do this, I can't do that. What if this, what if that? Like, what if you do do it? What if, it, what, if, what if it works? What if it don't work? You learn something, right? Are you a wolf or a sheep? You know, wolves get out there and make it happen to eat. Sheep just sit, just sit on, the, on, the, on the background, just looking, observing, you know, worrying about everybody. Don't be that. Don't be a sheep. Growth is taking the uncomfortable and adapting to it. Definitely, definitely that. And the more you step out in that uncomfortable zone, the more you're gonna grow every time you do it. Do things that are uncomfortable. 
Like that's how you grow. You stay safe. You stay plan. You stay playing the safe, doing the same thing all the time. What are you getting from that? Nothing, right? The higher you, the higher you climb, the better the view. My light is about to go out. It's tripping. Um, you are where you are because that's where you decide to be. And I feel like sometimes we do that. You know, we feel like we can't do this and we can't do that. We put limits on ourselves and we stay stuck. Then we wonder why, 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 like, what's going on? Like, what's happening? You're putting limits on yourself. Don't put limits on yourself. Change is tough. Once you get through it, you'll really know what you'll know what it what it really is. Nothing is impossible um, when you're setting your rules. Nothing is impossible when you're the one setting the rules. We gotta remember that. A lot of times, we put limitations on ourselves. I'll bet. I don't know how long this battery gonna last. These batteries suck. Should have my laptop right here. Motivation creates energy. And fear keeps a lot of people from setting goals. It does, doesn't it? So I have my hot topic. So basically what I do, I write down different little things that I want to talk about and I just pull them out and I just randomly talk about it. So my first one is love people. No, lost people love other lost people and ask them where they're going and nobody knows. We all been there, right? You lost, that person lost, where y'all going? Don't nobody know. Don't nobody know because they both lost. Two lost people ain't going nowhere fast. Uh, what good is the shade in a hundred degree weather like we have an outside? I think a lot of times people, you know, say indirect stuff. And uh, it, 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 I guess it's how they feel at that time. A lot of times, people saying stuff and doing stuff to you, it's just how they feel at, the, at that moment. It has absolutely nothing to do with you. Just don't take it personal. We let go of stuff, but we don't take it off. Take it, take it off all the way. Yeah, we say we, we, we say we, we say we, we um, we're over it and we let it go, but we still holding on to it. We still talking about it. We still, and I'm gonna tell you something. Every time you talk about the worst thing that ever happened to you, you are reliving those same emotions. Like you can talk about something that happened to you, and I promise you, those emotions, those feelings that you felt at that at that exact time, I promise you'll feel it again every time you talk about it. You know, you gotta let it go so you can grow. You really do. What do you like? Hmm, what do you like you want to let go of? Oh, what do you like you want to let go of? A lot of times we have bad, we have bad stuff that we hold on to that, that's holding us back. And a lot of times it could be people. Certain certain people, you know, if you hang around with somebody that's always negative, that's always talking about other people. You're gonna be the same way, talking about other people. Like y'all gonna all be miserable. So you just gotta you gotta try to surround yourself with positive people. You just gotta do that. You surround yourself with people that that you know positive and that, that you wanna be like, y'all promise you you'll start doing those same exact things. When you around negative people, all y'all gonna do is be bitter and mad all together. That's just ridiculous. People do that. The person you think you can't get over, one day you'll will be well, the person you think you can't get over one day will be a complete stranger to you. Give it time. I know a lot of times when we, you know, relationship is over, we just think it's the worst thing that ever happened to us. You know, you guys know this person, this person became your best friend, and all of a sudden one day somebody decided they want it out, right? You gotta be you gotta be able to pick up the pieces and move on. It is what it is. People change. And um, they're not honest with their their intentions, and you know sometimes we overlook things because we want to see who who we want to see in people, you know, perception. I want this person to be all these things, so I feel like I can make them, you know, do all these things I want them to do when they are who they really are, and they just show you one day, and you know, it was always there, but you you didn't want to see that. A lot of times we try to you know close you know kind of close our eyes and try to ignore that but it's there it's always there it, it, it's never left people can relate to pain you're not going to listen to someone whose life is perfect they have or, or or they have it all together and i think that's true you want to hear anybody saying oh you know i'm just having this is 
like all these good things are happening to me. I'm having the best life. Nobody want to hear that. You know, because we're all human. We all go through stuff, and it's just a matter of how you deal with it. That's really the biggest thing is how you deal with it. Stuff is going to happen to you every day, all the time. Life is going to happen, and you cannot predict it. But you can predict. You can as far as how you, you know, get through it. It's up to you. How you handle it. That's the word I'm looking for. How you handle it. That's how you get through it. Because people are people. Nobody's perfect. We expect imperfection from in, from imperfect people. And we, we get upset and let down when they don't give us that. When in actuality, nobody's perfect, right? So we got to remember. Were you ever the toxic one in the relationship? Yeah. I think we all have. You know, when we don't want to admit to it. Well, I will, I will admit to it. Um, when it was over and I felt like the person was doing things intentionally to hurt my feelings and hurt me. Then, you know, sometimes we give people a taste of their own medicine. Not, not realizing that we're also becoming toxic. You got to be aware of the things that you say and the things that you do. And a lot of times, toxic people don't know they're toxic. They really don't. They do the craziest things, say the craziest things, and they look at you like you're crazy. They do it. We're so quick. We're so quick to judge. Work on being the best you can, and you can, and you, and, and you can be so that you can change your story. Yeah, a lot of times we do that. We, we look at somebody else's story and what they're doing and what they're saying, and we just like, oh my God, I can't believe this, I can't believe that, but. Everybody got their own way of getting through stuff, getting over stuff, and dealing with things, period. Like, who are we to judge anybody? We have to look in the mirror. When, the next time you think about, you know, judging somebody, talking about somebody, worrying about why they do what they do, look in the mirror. Like, do you? can you really judge somebody? We all can work on ourselves. We all have, you know, we all have improvements to make on our, on our own self, right? The real battleground is in your mind. Smiling, smiling at people and gunfire going off in your head. Like you don't know what somebody's dealing with. They can be, oh, I'm doing great, I'm doing awesome. And but you don't know what's going on inside of here, right? You just don't know. So it's gotta be mindful because people, I don't know if y'all watch that show Snap. People snap. <laughs> they snap and kill people and do things. And you be like, oh my God, I didn't know. I didn't know he you know he was so nice. You just don't know. You don't know what somebody going through. You know you don't know what somebody dealing with. You gotta be careful, cause nowadays people shot men and women. They are killing people. You gotta be you gotta be careful. That's all I can say. And my dad gonna light them went up. But anyway, nevertheless. I bet. So what else? Pressure in your life um, from the choices you make. A lot of times we get pressure from our friends, our family to do things. Um, live in your own means. Like you don't have to do what everybody else doing. And you gotta learn how to wait on some things. Sometimes you can't go everywhere. You can't do everything. A lot of times you try to do what everybody else doing. Sometimes you can't afford to do that. You just can't. Sometimes you gotta set, you gotta stay home and watch Netflix or get you some movies from Redbox if you got to. It happens, right? The man is supposed to leave, but if he don't, where y'all headed? Where y'all? I'm saying, where y'all headed? Y'all gonna be lost. Yeah, the man's supposed to leave. What, what, what if you don't have a man? What if the man's not there? You gotta do what you gotta do, right? At the end of the day, you got to. What else? What else? What else? How do people go from best friends to strangers? One day somebody decided to stop playing their role and the real person emerged. That happens, right? You can only fake it for so long. You know, then the real intentions come out. And when it's over, that's when you really see who the person is. I'm gonna tell you that now. You be like, oh my God, I didn't know. I didn't know this, I didn't know that. You see all this stuff when it's over. But when it's good, you don't see that stuff. You know, but eventually, when you play, when you playing a role, eventually, some you know, somebody gonna forget. That's kind of how that happens. What's your deal breaker? My light is just tripping. 
my deal breaker, um, my deal breaker is, is somebody that tell lies. Like, <laughs> if I can't trust you, then I just, what are we doing? You know? That's my deal breaker. What's y'all deal breaker? For those who are tuned in, what's y'all deal breaker? I'm, I'm about to turn my light on in a minute because this light right here is about to go out. So if I get ghost for a minute, I'm turning my light on. I am turning my light on. Hello, everybody. Let's talk about it. What's on y'all minds tonight? And I went through all my little notes, all my um, posties on my hat topic. So now it's your turn. I do have a topic somebody wanted me to, well, I have something somebody wanted me to talk about. One second. So there, I'm back. Oh. So, someone asked me today, they was like, a lot of times when you're in, you were in a relationship and thank, you have been in relationships and all of them just, you know, have been bad. You just, you just think that there's no good, no, no good, you know, man out there, no good woman out there. And then, you know, one day you meet somebody, right? And you guys are just, you know, cruising on down the road, just, you know, just, just getting to know each other in, in a, in a relationship, right? A lot of times I feel like we look for things. We just, we just, we just real picky about stuff, trying to find something wrong so we can hurry up and exit out because of the past. And you cannot do that because it just won't, anybody, people, are, nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. And if you're looking for that, you will never find that because first of all, you gotta, you're you not that. So you're not going to find that. You got to be willing to overlook certain flaws. You got to be willing to work together. And a lot of times when you've been in and out of bad relationships and you finally get in a good one, you're like, oh my God, this ain't right. This, What's going on here? Let me do something to sabotage this. Not really trying to, but we do that because we don't we don't know what what's good. We always seem bad, bad, bad. So it's like we don't know what's good. And when we get good, we try to run it off. We do that. And I think a lot of times we carry baggage from other relationships into, you know, every relationship. Sometimes every relationship, if not, you know. And then when you do that, it's like the other person kind of suffers because you know, you looking at them like like they are the old person. Like they gonna do all the stuff the other person did. You gotta be willing to let those bags go and give somebody a chance. Everybody's not alike. All men are not bad. All women are not bad. There are some good people out there. You just gotta be patient. And one day you'll find that. And when you do, you'll know. But you can't, you know, bring those bags from previous relationships. It's not gonna work. You gotta be willing to compromise. You know, and we gotta communicate. A lot of times we don't communicate. Sometimes we don't know how to communicate. Or if we do, we do it in a nasty, negative way. And now the person, and when you come at somebody all angry and negative, then they, the, the wall up, you know, whatever. They ain't talking to you, they ain't hearing none of that. You just gotta know how to, you gotta know how to talk to people, you gotta know how to communicate. You just do. In order for anything, in order for your relationship to work, to grow, you have got to have trust, communication, like you gotta have, those are the, like some of the major things you gotta have. And you gotta know how to do that. And you gotta be open and willing to love again. And not be just in it just to be in it, just to have somebody. A lot of times we do things just to, you know, I just want somebody here, so you know, whatever. I'll just do the minimum to, to, keep, to keep them right here. And then eventually, you know, you get tired of playing a role. So we just gotta be honest. We gotta be honest about what we want, what we're looking for. I feel like a lot of times we don't do that. Like we know if a person, you know, they, they'll tell you. Now if you tell this person, oh, I wanna get married, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. Okay. They're like, I want these things too. And that sometimes they say that just because they wanna be with you. You know? But eventually time will tell. I feel like it don't take no seven, eight, ten years dating somebody to know whether or not you want to marry you know if you want to marry you don't take that long but a lot of times they'll tell you know they'll say they, they want those these things because you say that's what you want and maybe they just want to get whatever they want to get from you, you know so like I said you'll know you just got to be honest and women we got to go with our good you know when something don't feel right you know when something ain't you know when something off 
Stop overlooking little small stuff. The small stuff turn into big stuff one day and then boom. Your heart broke, right? No better, you do better. So, that's my little spill on that. Anybody got anything they want to talk about? What are y'all deal breakers? Do y'all still believe in love and the happy ever after? Or are you just going to be like single forever or dating forever or whatever for there, forever? Inquiring minds would like to know. I'll flap my fro out while waiting on somebody, on somebody to say something. You people be saying to me, oh, I thought you were so shy, so quiet. I'm really not. It's just, I don't, you know, certain people, I just don't have nothing. A lot of people, I don't have a lot to say. A lot of people don't, don't have a lot to talk about. Either they want to talk about other people or they want to talk about nothing. <laughs> I don't want to do neither, so I just say to myself, say to myself I work on me spiritually emotionally physically you gotta work in all those areas I feel like you do it's gotta be a balance across the board you can't have you know work in one area not the other area some areas gonna go lacking so I'm just trying to make sure all of it is even all the way across the board that's about it is it hot enough for you it's hot very hot so yeah, I don't know. What's my time like? 727. Okay. We don't have about 27 minutes. I try to keep it at a minimum of 30. I just feel like anything over that is like borderline gets start starts to get boring. It's like what else can I say? What else can I talk about? Let's talk about it. I'm on uh YouTube. I post videos on YouTube like every other day. So Definitely go on there and check me out. Subscribe if you like. If you don't, it's all good. But yeah, this is what I do. Um, kind of like working on me, telling my story. I need to start my book. I, I'll have a book I want to write. I have so much stuff I want to do. So, but the main thing is just make sure you set goals. Like I, I started setting goals, and really since like January. You know, I've been you know procrastinating a little bit, and I just I just started doing this like in April. I went to the beach, and I just had this oha moment, and I've been on here ever since. I have, like I said, I have videos. I, I come live on on every Thursday, just to chat, just you know, put on a funny wig and just you know show my other funny crazy side. There's many sides to me, so I do that. Um, pretty much it. Mm, excuse me. But yeah, I've been, I've been, um, I'm, I'm a motivational speaker, right? So I do that by telling my story and, um, it helps to inspire somebody else because, you know, me watching these videos inspire, it helped me at, when I was at a dark, lonely place, it helped me. So I want to be the help for someone, you know, so that's why I do it. And it's fun and it's kind of like therapy for me. It's like I get to talk and, you know, I don't get a whole lot of talking back, but I get to talk and express myself, and it's, sometimes we have to do that. And we got to get it out, because if you hold it in, you, you, you'll bust. I see people walking around all the time just full of anger, full of, I don't know what they're full of. They're just full of stuff, right? They, then you can just see it in their face. How you doing? I'm fine. You know, they're just looking like they're about to start crying any moment. You know, I was that, you know? I, you know, I feel like I didn't have anybody to talk to, and so I just choose to tell the world my story, right? I have nothing to hide. It is what it is. I own it. Whatever you do, own it. A lot of times we're like, oh, I didn't do this. Oh, I didn't do that. I did it. It is what it is. I tried it. It didn't work out. You know, my heart was broken. But what I learned from that is you got to know who you are. And you got to um, not take things personally. Because a lot of times people don't know who they are. And they have been raised like you've been raised. They have been taught a lot of things. And we're expecting them to do all these things. We're expecting them to be husbands. And then maybe they might have, they might have never seen a husband figure in their household. Their dad might not have been there. Their mom might not have been there. But then you want them to show you these things. You want them to do this, this duty that they don't know how to do, right? It can go either way. Men or women, it can go either way. We all out here trying to figure this thing out. 
so don't take nothing personal that's all I can say don't take it personal we all out here growing and things that people do uh, uh, to you is, is nothing it's, it's nothing it's not, not even about you it's how they feel about themselves that's what we have to realize it's a projection of how they feel about themselves it has absolutely nothing to do with you I took I took a lot of stuff personally that I shouldn't have and once I began to work on myself I let a lot of stuff go like you just don't know the patience and the forgiveness that I have. I just look at people and be like, okay, you going through something. You dealing? You, it's, it, it's not. A, it's not even me. I didn't do anything. If you know you didn't do nothing to nobody, you know, you, and you know you've been good to that person. They do something to you. It ain't. It ain't about you. It is not about you. Don't just don't take it like that. It's not about you. We are where we are where we are in life, and some of us are further than others. Like we, you know, we're not on. The, we might not. We might not be on the same page. We might not be on the same book. We might be in the same chapter, but it's okay. It's okay. I feel like everybody that crosses your paths for a reason. You going, you going, you gotta learn something. If you ain't learning, if you're not learning something, I promise you, you'll keep getting that lesson in different, different people. The same lesson you keep getting. Then you be like, why does this keep happening to me? What's going on? I'm like, okay, I need you to get this. I need you to get this. Like, when you gonna get it? Until you get it, you're going to keep going through and keep going through it. But once you get it, hmm, once you become aware of who you are and what you want and where you're going, people can't fool you. They can't run game on you. And, and you'll see it a mile away. You're like, you know what? I need you to go over there with that. <laughs> I need you to go over here. This right here ain't working. You'll be so quick to cut people off. Friends, family, whoever you got to cut off. To keep your peace of mind, to keep your sanity, you gotta do it. Cause everybody ain't going where you going, everybody ain't at where you at. And a lot of times we try to make people, we try to make people into who we want them to be. And they're who they are. They always been who they are. We just choose not to see it. That's what I learned. <laughs> That's what I learned. You can be as honest as you want to, but if that other person is not honest, then guess what? What are y'all doing? Where y'all going? A lot of people going nowhere want you to go right along with them. And anytime you start working on yourself and trying to improve yourself, guess what? They got something to say. They gonna always have something to say. It's your job not to worry about it. Let them talk. They gonna talk anyway. Oh well, they'll be all right. Work on you. If you worry about you like you worry about me, you'll be better. For real. That's how I see it. That's all I got y'all. So, I've done enough talking to myself. I mean, to y'all. I'm talking to y'all, though, for real. I ain't got nothing else. That's it. Um, well, y'all enjoy the rest of your night. I'm about to go eat my beef neck bones and my rice. Country girl. Yeah, she is straight country. Beef neck bones and rice. Because I can do that. Bye, y'all. Later.